Okay, we're going to talk about something kind of interesting. I think some of you may be interested, in, and this isn't just for females. This can be for the males too, but there is going to be a little bit of male overtones in some of them, so please don't take offense for the guys who could be watching my video. But a very common thing, if you are going to go in and be a reader, it does happen that you are going to have somebody come to you and they are gonna ask you if somebody is cheating on them. It's a very common one, and you have to tread carefully if you're gonna answer that question. For instance, you just as an intuitive kinda got to feel out the situation as far as if I relay the information and it comes up that, that it's true that they are, we wanna make sure they're not gonna go home and there's gonna be a big huge fist fight or something. So we kinda wanna be careful who we're gonna relay that in that information to. So really feel out the person you're gonna read. Is this the right time to really relay this kind of info if it's gonna come in in a situation where they are? Now, this is not just for reading for other people, but maybe you are a tarot reader or you, you know, you're know you kind of playing around with it and this question is bothering you and you're really wondering if a cheating situation is going on you are questioning it so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna teach you what i've kind of had be my tell-all cards you know as far as picking up on cheating and i'm going to explain the reason why now this may help you you can probably put it in the back of your mind so later if you ever are god forbid in this situation where you suspect there could be a cheating situation going on you kind of know some of the cards that tarot will kind of reveal let's talk about the very first dead giveaway in tarot and any tarot reader who's been doing it for a while knows it it's the seven of swords now the seven of swords is the sneaky trickster sometimes he is depicted with the fox he leaves two swords there but he runs off with five so it does seem he's kind of leaving a little bit of uh, uh, evidence behind just a little bit of something and that's how sometimes people get hot caught is they leave a little bit of evidence and maybe they didn't mean to and it's one of the things you got to kind of examine did he mean to leave two behind or did he not? In some cases, maybe he did. In some cases, maybe he did not mean to. But this is my sneaky guy and this is the betrayer. You know, he is the fox of tarot. So if you're doing a reading and you really wanna know if there is some kind of lying or deception or cheating going on, if you see this card, you need to pay attention. Now, when it is in a reverse position, what I have found is the gig is up, they've been caught. There's normally some kind of lie has been exposed. Some kind of evidence is kind of on the table. Now the person may still continue to try to cover up because that's what the Seven of Swords, you know, he's very sneaky and all that. But pretty much if you're seeing some kind of evidence, and this card has come up for you, especially in the reverse position, you need to take it as it is. Now, um, other ones, let's talk about a couple other ones. So if you see the two of wands and you're checking about infidelity and so forth, this doesn't necessarily mean the person is going to be cheating, but they're exploring possibilities. In Osho Zen, two of wands is especially about exploring the possibilities. And in many depictions, sometimes it's light on one side, dark on the other side with the two of wands. He's kind of deciding which, you know, one to pick up and which path to go and what i kind of look at that not only exploring possibilities which could be talking to other people but especially is the grass greener on the other side i've been walking this way but maybe i should go and explore this new terrain so if you see two of wands that could be maybe they're not necessarily doing anything at the moment but they're keeping their options open so if you're wanting somebody and you want them to be in some kind of a commitment and you want to know if they're, you know, if it's safe and, and, you know, the commitment is real and faithful, if I see that they're like, they're probably not serious. So maybe you, you checked out that person on Tinder and you're really wanting to know if they're looking for someone serious. You see the two of wands, you need to know they want to, you know, play the field and just have a good old time that they're really looking for nothing serious. So let's explore another one. Now, one of the things is when I see the Three of Pentacles, I talked about in my other video, if I'm reading a relationship, this can be a friends with benefits type of thing because there's normally some kind of agreement, like a, 
an agreement, handshake agreement and so forth, you know, that will just keep it no commitment, but we'll keep it maybe just like a sexual relationship, this, that, but there's some kind of agreement made that doesn't really have to do with love or anything. You know, I know you're wondering, but why, you know, as far as it's, it's not like wands and it's not like, it's definitely not cups, but it's more of a physical type of card. And that's part of the reason it's more of a physical type of interaction. It's more of a, a friendly kind of deal. Okay. You know, uh, like they have a handshake agreement, friends with benefits. Now, if you're in a committed relationship, but you see this coming up here, but you, you have established a commitment, like you might be married or something. This could mean that there is a friends with benefits on the side, somebody who's not ready to break up with you, but they've started a little friends with benefits type of thing. And they've made it very clear to the other person that they do not want a commitment with them, but they want to have a little fun. So what a situation like that, if you are reading that, but you are, you know, in an established committed relationship, and you see that pop up, that could be the scenario that is going on. Now, one of them, and this is not to shoot down all the males, forgive me, please. I'm not trying to do that. But if you see the six of wands, he's kind of a conqueror. So this is kind of, if we're wanting to watch out for the, the ego guy who likes to go and conquer women, if I'm looking in a situation like that, this could be somebody who has to have their ego fed with relationships or with meeting women and so forth. So it's kind of like if I'm going, you know, if you're in a situation, maybe you're not committed to that person, but you're wondering, should I be in a commitment? Should I date them? If you see the six of wands, they're probably very charismatic and very attractive and they attract the ladies. One of the things you got to kind of think on, but can he settle down? And it's real hard, you know, he's kind of this conqueror. So six of wands doesn't always settle down. Now, another one that can be a giveaway and always check your surrounding cards is the two of pentacles. So you could be in a situation where he's juggling two options. Here, we've got a little bit of that physical. So you may be more aware of the situation. Um, he keeps talking to his ex, for example. I don't know if he's over with his ex, but she showed up on his text messages and she sent a message. But then of course you have a relationship. So if you see that we're juggling two options, like almost like I'm, I'm trying to do this. I'm very busy beaver here. You know, I'm juggling my options and everything. And so if you see a situation like that, that could be very well what is going on. This is a little bit different than the two of wands that is exploring possibilities and, and maybe doesn't have anybody set in stone, but is just kind of looking, but not touching necessarily. This is normally where we've got something going on. Now, it doesn't mean necessarily there is a physical thing going on, but there still could be some kind of connection and talking to that is going on. Another one that is very obvious is the devil. You know, the temptation and so forth and the chains of the lovers and everything. If you see this, I really think the devil standing alone, I don't necessarily say means cheating for me. Um, I have not found it because it may represent their relationship and there there's like a negative toxicity in the relationship. But if you see seven of swords and the devil, then you really got to pay attention there because the devil does lie. We know that. So that's one of the things the reader is going to have to really explore the surrounding cards. Okay, maybe there is some lying going on. But just because someone lies, it doesn't mean necessarily they have done anything quite yet. They could be in process. Now, one of the things, if you are in a situation where you're communicating long distance, maybe you haven't um, met them face to face on video chat and they make a lot of excuses. We've all seen catfish. Seven of Cups is a real good indicator you could be dealing with a catfish. So that's, I'll just throw that in because I wanted to bring that up to the forefront. This is the card of Neptune and the illusions that can be cast. And I have read situations where somebody either was being catfished and they never met online or somebody was really hiding their intent. For example, oh, I love you and I'm going to come to the country and I'm going to marry you and this, that, but that's never their intent. They're maybe just wanting to have a a little fun online and all that and, and they're just playing with people's emotions 
So if you're in a situation where maybe you're in that long distance relationship and you've never quite seen someone's face and they're not quite meeting you, if you see the Seven of Cups come up, you could be dealing with somebody who is a master of illusion. And if you have not talked to them on video chat, it, the photos that they are presenting are probably not really them. Um, another one is, okay, let's pretend that you've caught the person. Um, okay, I've caught them talking to another lady. Um, they were having an emotional relationship. Or even, yes, you caught them in a physical one and you're going to be like, give them a chance. And okay, so we're there. You know, you know about it. But then you want to know, are they going to do it again or are they serious and they'll never do it again? This is where Four of Swords is very helpful. See, always kind of meditating and the Three of Swords is above. Let's just pretend he broke your heart versus his own. But he's contemplating his next move. Do you notice? And then he's got the sword there. So inevitably he's going to take action once he's thought about some things. When I look at a situation where the person has already been caught and they're like, I'm not going to do it again. If I see the four of swords, that's my signal. That's my cue that they're laying low and they're waiting for the dust to settle. And they're waiting for you to trust them again before they're gonna get up inevitably and take action when you're not looking. So if you're reading the situation, does he really mean it? Does he, is he really gonna never do it again? I mean, really? If you see that card, they're just waiting until you're, you, you got the trust. Okay, I trust you, I love you, everything is good. And then as soon as you're not paying attention and they can you know go back to hiding their phone and you're not looking anymore, bam, they're back on it. Another one is the Three of Cups reverse, normally depicts three women. When I see the Three of Cups in a reverse position, especially, sometimes upright, you may see it upright and it may be valid, but for me, it's usually in a reverse position. They could have multiple partners. So you gotta be real careful with that and protect yourself. Another thing, we're almost there to the end. Um, Ace of Wands, if it suddenly pops up in the relationship read, that could be the beginning of a sexual relationship. Now, if you see it in a reverse position and you're wondering if they're cheating and it's reversed, then it's pretty much saying there is no physical relationship. So you're pretty much in a good position. And another one, too, is the lovers. If the lover seems to be popping up in an environment position, for example, and you know that it's not you, and you're not feeling this is you and your partner necessarily, that could be your clue. So, and of course, one more is the moon. That is That could be deception casting illusions, very similar to the Seven of Cups. So those are some of the cards that I have found if I am presented with that question. Like I said, always be careful because, you know, I'm not trying to say people don't deserve the truth, but sometimes it could be the wrong time for this information to come to light. So you really got to use your intuition if you're even going to relay this. But those have been my go-to cards and they, you know, it's it's almost tried and true, especially Seven of Swords. That just, every time that comes up, there's something going on. I've just never seen it fail me. So those are the ones you can look for. So if, if you're sitting there and you're even wondering it right now, pull out your tarot deck. You see a whole bunch of those cards pop up, and then you know something is going on. I hope these tips helped.